Hello and welcome to Cooking Simulator. Now today we're gonna, I've never played this game before. This is my first attempt at this game. So we're gonna do the career mode. So like I say, I have no idea what this game uh, entails or what, what it's about, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. So we're gonna see how that goes. So welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you know, you've already noticed the restaurant you're in Employed and does not have a greatest rating. Your task is to restore it to its former glory or former glory. And to reach the highest level of prestige, the last chef left the kitchen covered in sticky notes. Maybe there'll be some use to you. Okay. So we're using a controller, which will be interesting to see how that works out for us. You can use this you can use the laptop to pin a recipe. Okay, that's a cool start. Yeah, I've got no idea of the buttons. Basically, I've got no idea about anything to do with this. So we're going to be completely new. Okay, so it's fry a bucket. That's a good start. Uh, we've got, what is this? A mixer, blender. Okay, got the pickup. What can we pick up? Do that. Okay. That's a timer. Okay, put that down. Now let's try and see. Okay, so some ingredients. All the kind of stuff you might need there. Okay, some tomatoes, some lemons, some potatoes, some onions, more onions, some propane, some do we need those? Yes, yeah, so the small plates, large plates, there's a fridge, some fish, some salmon, sour cream. Now, I have no idea how you decide what you need to do next. It's not the best day. Oh, here's a laptop, that's good. Okay, so day one. Recipes unlocked free. So we're gonna have a look. I guess guess we go to recipes. I mean it's very vague. Maybe we'll do the tomato soup. I think that's a fair uh good one to start with perhaps because we are, honestly have no idea what I'm doing. So tomato soup. Skip preparation phase. Now I think we're gonna need the preparation phase. How do we know? Okay, so we need one we need do we need we need a tomato. I'm just gonna assume that we get Okay, try to get bankrupt almost if it costs money. Okay, let's get a tomato. I don't have a clue. I'm gonna put it down here for now. I'm just gonna get all the ingredients initially. I've no idea if you need more than one tomato or just a tomato. It's very hard to say. It does not say uh, chicken broth. Chicken broth, I've not seen any chicken broth yet. Uh, what was that? Is it horseradish dried? What's that? On sunflower oil. Okay, I haven't seen any chicken broth, maybe it's in the fridge. You never know. Sour cream, sour cream, chicken broth. Okay, so we need some chicken broth. I'm assuming you probably don't want to leave the fridge open. One would assume sour cream, we saw some of that in there as well. Okay, let's put sour cream on there. How do we bring that down? Use the mouse, you're gonna use the mouse and, and uh, um, control a combination. Right, we saw, where's the salt? Did I see any salt about? I haven't seen any salt yet. Okay, black pepper. Oh, I think it's behind here, isn't it? Some of the stuff. Yeah, oh, salt, there we go. So salt, put that there. Black pepper, get that. So, so I think this particular episode, we'll probably just make this and see how we go. Because I mean, it's, it's a little bit complicated. I'm mean, sure this game, this game does look fun. I mean, it's only just, it's probably been out for a long while. It's one of those that's probably been out for a long while, but only been on the Game Pass very recently now. Where's the chopping board? Okay, so I'm going to bring our tomato over to the chopping board. Now I'm going to assume, assume, get a knife. Okay, so precisely holding the tools. Uh, holding shift will open up the new ways to manipulate. Okay, so we, we're not going to use... Okay, so we haven't actually, because we have got, okay, so, okay, yeah, I've got no idea if we actually needed to chop this up, but it's kind of cool, actually, it's quite a fun, um, okay, so it literally does do a precise cut, yeah, I've no idea what the, oh, I'm walking around with a knife now, which is not so good, I don't know if I need to dice those, I probably should have looked, actually. Uh, skip preparation. So to say, add to pot chicken broth, uh, tomatoes. It doesn't say if you've got. A, I assume you've got a blender tomatoes. That would be my assumption. I'm going to blend them. So there's. Oh, I don't know. How do I take the tomatoes off? Oh, I'll put them all up in one go. That's all right. That's going to clearly be a mistake. 
there uh, for advanced. Jeez, this is surprisingly complicated. Blender, is that, what is this? Cut. We've opened for business. Oh God, that's not good. Okay, good job they ordered asked for that because we're just kind of making and hoping for the best here. I have absolutely no idea. Oh, there's a pot there, that's a good. We needed a big pot. God, if they're expecting anything to come out of this oven, they're probably gonna be mistaken very greatly, I would say. Where's it? There was a hob, wasn't there, somewhere around here? Yeah, so we put this on there, I can imagine. That's a good start. Okay, maybe we put that in there? Let's, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it in there, why not? Oh God. The amount of detail is very impressive. Okay, that not all of that went in there. Okay, I have no idea if this is the right thing to do, and I can't imagine it is, to be honest. But it's what we're, it's what, the, the, it's what we're gonna choose to do anyway. Uh, let's go back up on there. So it just doesn't say onions. Let's get an onion, I've got an onion here. Now I know for pretty certain you're gonna have to chop, the, we're gonna have to chop this onion. It's definitely, my, there's two knives. What are the difference, are they different sizes? Okay, I'm gonna assume. Okay, so we're gonna cut that onion, God. Keep cutting it basically. Wow, it's certainly something from this game. I mean, the level of detail you can't when when games add this level of complexity, then you cannot complain. I mean, that's this is quite something that you can cut. I mean, I'm not going to get you know I'm clearly done this wrong, but it has, you can't discredit the level of complexity they've added in this game. Um, as much as I have no idea, it's gonna. I do know how to cook, believe it or not, but it's more I don't have a clue what it's asking in here, and it's not necessary. Perhaps I should have done a tutorial, but sometimes it's fun just to just to play and hope for the best. It's gonna be the worst tomato soup this guy has ever had, or girl, whoever's deciding to order the soup is gonna get something they didn't expect. That's for certain. Um, oh yeah, so there is an element of. Okay, can't get in there. There you go. I mean, hey, they're not expecting that at all. So let's add, so we add in our onions. Are we supposed to be able to measure this? What is this? So they've got all the equipment here, but it's not very well laid out now. I assume, like I said, I assume there's probably an element of, uh, um, you can probably, there's lots of tools here. So I'm gonna assume, geez. That, Add to the pot chicken broth. Yeah, I'm going to assume that there probably is scales and so forth knocking about, but I don't know where that is as yet. So basically, to an extent, they're just going to get what they get and they're just going to have to accept as because it's not, this is not necessarily going well. Uh, oh dear. Tilt. But yeah, the level of complexity is quite impressive. If this is going to get everything. This is going to be the worst chicken soup they've ever had in their life, but, or. Uh, tomato soup they've ever had in their life, but that's okay. Cayenne pepper. Um, it just doesn't, I can't see why I'm supposed to actually be able to tell, uh, you know, what I'm doing here. So they're just going to get it as it is. And they can, it, you know, but I like this. This kind of tells you, which is kind of cool. That I will say is very impressive. That it, I mean, I would say that it's kind of funny that there's no bin. Um, let's turn this on, shall we? Okay, does that, is that, let's put it on that one. Okay, so clearly something's gonna happen there. Let's add in, I mean, is it gonna let us tell us how much grams of this there are? This is 500 grams of it. I mean, clearly this is not gonna go, uh, is it gonna tell us? Four a gram, okay. Okay, so that's a bit better. That makes more sense. Yeah, I mean, I like that. That makes more sense. You can kind of, this is, I. Sometimes I like to play the games to do tutorials, but sometimes I think for videos like this, it's kind of more fun for us to go for it together and to try and work out the experience. I mean, this this is clearly going to be the worst soup this person's ever ordered in their life, but for us at least, it's um, a fun experience to go through it. Now, I apologize for any uh, like clicking because it's, it's one of those that I am, uh, to an extent, just making it as we go along. And this button bashing is one of those kind of things. So we're going to 12, I just want one gram of that. Oh God, that's got too much salt in there. Oh well, I mean, it's not going to work anyway, is it? Let's face it. This is never going to come good. 
cayenne pepper, done that, haven't I? I wonder if there's a spatula. You would assume that there would be some form of ability to stir. I don't want to pick that up. I want to stir it though. Taste it. I can't imagine. That's not looking good. Where is this? There must be a form of... There must be a way of stirring it. I mean, it's a one-star restaurant and they're getting one star, definitely. Uh, I, must, I can't believe there's nothing to stir it. You would have definitely have assumed that there would be... I mean, there's, we're going to get our bowl, because so we're definitely going to need a bowl. To put our, did I just smash the bowl? I think I did. Somehow I smashed the bowl. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's try not to smash the bowl. Right, let's put that there. I, I like, like I say, I love the level of detail. I don't think, oh, hang on, this could actually work for us. That was the blender. I wonder if we can pick that up and put it in. Now, I would not recommend this uh, form of anything, but I wonder if we can put that in there. Can we turn it on in there? Surely not. Surely that is not a thing. Interact. Wow. You know. I guess it is blending, isn't it? It is turning on. But I think our problem is more... I think maybe what I might do, be tempted to do, is because we probably can turn this around to an extent. If we take some more tomatoes... Not tomatoes, but oh, can we put them back? I reckon if we put um, a few more tomatoes in there and try and get them in the food processor, which is what I was trying to do anyway, to be fair. Because why can't we... I don't understand why you can't, we can't put that in there. Move vertically. Okay, put in. Okay, that actually did actually cut that. Okay, can we cut that? Okay, so we could actually really cut it really quickly there. Uh, but we don't want to do it like that. Okay, so we're learning things, which is one of the reasons why I was quite happy to do it like this, because we are now kind of getting the gist a bit more of what's going on here. So the next time, I mean, I obviously want paste rather than... Um, I wonder if I could have done... I'm just going to test something else out here. If we put that there, and we get our little... Uh, where's our mixing thing? Well, clearly this one's a disaster. I mean, without a doubt. I don't know. Can we put that in there, maybe? No. Hang on, what would that? Turn on. Can we put... Now, clearly, that's it. this is a disaster. I think we're just going to serve it as it is. I think I'm already starting to learn, get the idea a little bit more. I think we'll just serve that in our bowl and send that off and then get a very bad review and just be happy with uh, with it, to be fair, over time. I'm not surprised it's over time. There you go. I think we'll pour the rest of that, to be fair, in there. Because that's going to be clearly oh no, right handle. Okay. Jeez, I just want to pour it out. Throw. Oh, dear. oh, it's on the floor now. Oh, well. Okay, so this is clearly the worst tomato soup you've ever seen in your entire life, which is fine. Like I say, it's a very much a, um, a learning curve. I have no idea how you actually serve this. Okay, put this on here for a second, maybe. Serve. Is it just a case of clicking on this? Okay, it's not very well laid out. Like I said, or maybe it's just the fact that we um, just have no idea. But th there's elements to this game which are not the best uh, in terms of skip. This is done. I want to skip the phase on that. Yeah, it could be the worst version of, you know, person to play this game ever. I mean, it's it's a fun game, though. It's very interesting how it's been portrayed. I have no idea how you actually interact with this in order to send it off. Is it the laptop? Maybe you do use that. But, yeah, if you've never played this game and you try and play it like this, and I kid you not, maybe this is not the greatest way of uh, attempting it, that's for sure, because I have no idea how you actually um, send it off once it's done restaurant and all i know is that the restaurant it's not going well how do you send it once you've made it and you've decided that you've killed killed your soup how do you then send it up is it just there put down okay take a dip fit oh my god would you want to take a picture of this i wouldn't have thought so okay so we're going to anyway 
Take a picture of that bad boy, okay? Share one try. Probably not going to do any of that, to be honest. Let's just send that up to Mart Soup. Yeah, they're going to hate that. But, like I say, it's a case of, I mean, it's terrible. You, yeah, you know, I knew it was terrible. You know it's terrible. Compliments. If there's any compliments there, then I can't imagine. I mean, the temperature perfect. Some paid for the dish. Tip. This sign of client liked his dish. Well, I mean, if he liked that, then that's uh, pretty bad, to be honest. But nevertheless, um, what, what's next? What have we got to attempt to not kill this time round? So how do we... Right, so we're going to try and cook some trout. I mean, that's going to go terrible, isn't it? But we'll give it a go. I mean, I kind of, once you sort of get the grasp a little bit, you do. It's the funny thing about this is, although I've only briefly played it, I don't want that one. I want the other one. How do we manage to switch between the two? Yeah, sometimes it's nice to try and learn like this. Uh, it's definitely a different way. I mean, like I say, we're, we're sort of trying to learn. So I want baked trout. Okay, so we need, we obviously need trout, which is obvious. Doesn't take, give you a method that I can see anyway, unless I'm missing the point here. Doesn't give you a method, unless it's, it's probably all written here, isn't it? Garnish, that isn't really, it's weird how it's not given a method. Like you, you either know how to do this or you're, an, you're either an expert at cooking trout or you've got absolutely no idea. In my case, how the hell am I supposed to know how to do this? Right, I've got a trout. Great. Now have I got to chop it or do something with it? How how would I know? Doesn't tell you that, as far as I can see in there. Just says transfer, bake for 90 seconds. Season with. Okay, I apparently haven't got to do anything. Okay, so I'll put that on a, on a tray. Bacon tray, okay. Well, where's the bacon trays? Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying this. I mean, it is a little bit weird and frustrating, but it's not... It is a good game. Grill pan, don't want that. I want a bacon tray. Anyone seen a bacon tray? I would say that it, it uh, there is probably a tutorial. I mean, I'm, I don't want to say that there's, they make this game very complicated and it's not because actually I'm trying to intentionally make it complicated for myself for your entertainment, I guess you could say. Uh, whereas like I said, the chances are there probably is a tutorial that would actually help with this. Oh, you can clean up apparently. Can you pick that up? I don't know when we ever have time to do that. What does that do? Okay, that puts us literally that. Where's the bacon tray though? Got broken glass over there. See, what that is the interesting thing that I would say is a slight negative is that there doesn't appear. Is that the bacon tray? Can you crouch down? Is that the bacon tray? That's a pan. Where's the bacon tray? Fry thing. It's just a little hard to find the odd thing here and there. To actually help you get through. Ah, oh, is it that? Okay, bacon tray. That was actually surprise easier than I made. Look, to be fair, I don't want to throw it in the middle of nowhere. I just want to put it down. Wouldn't mind a scale as well. That could be quite useful. So we put we got our trout, and we're going to put that on here. We're probably just going to do this recipe, and then we will call it there. I know I said perhaps I said uh, that we'd do the first one, but I figured. <laughs> We'll have a go at this. Now I understand this a little bit more than I did the first time round. Let's have a go. So we're putting five grams on here. Okay, so we're gonna aim on that. We're gonna put our five grams. So one gram, two gram, three gram, four gram, five gram. Okay, so we're gonna keep a messy kitchen. Why not, hey? Why would we not keep a messy kitchen? Let's get tine, dill, tine. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there. It's very detailed. Like I say I love the detail in these games. I mean, this reminds me a bit like I think it's made by the same people, but it reminds me of like car mechanic, that kind of thing. It's very detailed and dill. It's basically all the herbs and spices is what we need. Uh, I don't know how you do this quickly unless you had all your stuff here in front of you. I suppose that is an option, I guess. If you knew that this is one of the things that you were making, you could just have everything there. The one criticism I would have is you can't actually see that there's spices on there. Right, so. We've got to bake that for 90 seconds. Now, how the hell we do that? Got absolutely no idea. But we'll try and work it out. I don't even know where the ovens are. Are there over ovens? Where is the ovens? Bake. I've got the hob still on. That's not good. Let's turn that off. Now we're looking for the oven. To be able to bake it. Um, oven, oven. These aren't ovens, are they? Are they? 
Yeah, I guess they are. Okay, so somehow we're going to have to work out 90 seconds. Okay, turn on 200 degrees baking. How do we know what the temp? How do we know? No, that's definitely the temperature. How do we know how long it's been in there for? Ah, this timer. Set up your timer. That's one minute thirty. Seven. Okay, so I'll we'll probably do one minute twenty now because it's probably, yeah. Okay. Put that down. Okay. Ah, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, it didn't say the temperature, did it? I don't think, unless I completely misread. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it didn't say the temperature. We were supposed to actually cook that out. So I guess it's just guesswork, which is interesting, but we'll... I mean, it's obviously going to be late, but I mean, what did we expect? I mean, this is me trying to cook a piece of trout. I mean, I'm not, I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess I could get the horseradish and so forth uh, in preparation. Horseradish, did it say dried? Yeah, dried horseradish, which is down here. Uh, you'd be a bit more proactive on that front if I get that. Obviously, I'm going to need a plate here. How did I crouch? I crouched for that. Do I need a large plate? I would say a small plate, maybe. Try not to smash the plate like I did the previous one. So put that here as well. Okay, we're we nearly done. I've got 20 seconds on that. Excuse me. All right, somewhere there's a lemon in here. Lemon diced. Okay, so we're going to go to our chopping thing here. Okay, apparently I'm just pouring shit tons of water just nowhere. Okay, so that's not good. If we're paying for that water, I apologise. We've got a drought in the UK, and there's me just using water for the sake of it there. Right, so this actually might actually not go too bad. Right, so I've got to dice that. Put the knife back in. Put the lemon on the plate, which is a risky thing to do early there. I don't think that... Oh, that, go, all right, that might go all right. Right, clearly this needs to come out. Oh, jeez. Right, put that back on here, because apparently that doesn't matter if you're a... Uh, and something incredibly hot on there which is fine by me right now we're going to pick up somehow pick up how do we pick up it's too hot to pick up okay do we need something to pick it up with there's nothing i can see to actually do that Shut, oh no we don't want to open that okay that needs to stop sit down turn off put down is it can we pick it up yet no It'd be interesting if... Ah, okay, spatula. That would make sense. We'll pick up with the spatula. Yes. Okay. Oh, God. I need to drop my fish. Okay, so you're going to put that... Reset its position. I just want to put it down. Rotate. Okay, how do I put the fish... into On the plate? Is that not a big enough plate? I just literally want to put the plate... The fish on the plate. Okay, it's kind of on there now. God, spatula kind of is having a fit. I don't know if that's supposed to do that. I'm guessing not. Okay, let's put that down here. Put that down. Throw. Okay, so the fish is kind of on the plate. Annoyingly not in the right place, but can we move the fish? Didn't want to... Okay, interact. I just want to put you down. Reset position. No. Okay, so I just drop it onto... Oh, God's sake. Okay, so put that over. But that that's a weird mechanic. I'm not gonna lie. I would I, I think that's there must be a better way of doing that. Okay, so we're really over minus two minutes on that front. Okay, to, to, into quarters. Alright, I screwed up the lemon, but that's okay. Let's season this with five grams of that. Given how bad the first one was, this is definitely not too bad. Okay, so we've got that. Got that, let's throw this down. Okay, actually, this is not too bad. This is surprisingly good for us. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually relatively proud that I've managed to achieve that. Uh, Serve dish, why not, eh? That's actually surprisingly good from us. Okay, uh, yes, yeah, so, so we did all right on that, actually. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, I mean, you know, perfect, garnished, perfect. We got there. So it is, it's a game we can easily pick up. You know, I, I enjoy this. This is a fun, surprisingly stressful, actually. That's the, you know, that is the uh, thing about it. It is surprisingly stressful. Right, I'm going to leave this video here. This is going to be the first video of my sub channel, my um, Mr. Caro Games. Uh, if you like, please like and subscribe. 
Uh, if you want to see more, thank you very much. Goodbye.